Hi, it's Nixon from Zip Scanners. Today, I wanted to do a quick overview of the TRX1 software. Kind of show you around, navigate through some of these tabs, and uh, explain to you basically what to do, what they do, and uh, what not to touch. <laughs> so when you open up your software, uh, the first thing you'll notice is this screen. Um, these settings on this left and on the right here are things you don't need to touch. Um, the default settings are already set correctly. Um, I would only recommend playing with them if you're an advanced user. Otherwise, you don't need to worry about them. Um, as I showed you in the previous video, updates here on the top, this is where you would do your updates. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I don't play around with this advanced much I don't think you need to it's set up ready to go um, this is where you can copy your configuration to a scanner memory card uh, and this is what we did earlier in the previous video I selected the prepare scanner memory card for SD card use um, and that's how I programmed my uh, county and you can do the same um, on file here you can start create a new uh, programming, uh, open old ones, and, or just delete old ones you don't want anymore here. Um, set this description. Um, we did that for Hennepin County, I believe, for the last video. <clears throat> but I wanted to go over briefly what these tabs are. Uh, when you program things specifically, uh, you name them here. You go to the library import, um, and you've done this. Picked out your counties, imported them. Um, well, a really cool thing you can do is check to see if these frequencies got in here by clicking on this scan list tab. Um, as I look through, I can see that within Genesee County here, um, it was imported correctly. Uh, you see these conventional channels here under the type. As I go down, there are some trunked or talk groups also. So I know if what I want to hear is actually in here, this is it. So I like the scan list tab, it's pretty cool. Uh, they also break it down even further into just conventional frequencies and trunked radio systems in here. Um, so that's a quick overview of the software um, so that I wanted to really kind of go over. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to email me at nixon at zipscanners.com. Thanks a lot.